In the realms of Mortal Kombat, guest characters are nothing new, but the topic of Ghostface, the iconic mass killer from the Scream franchise, possibly joining Mortal Kombat 1 has sparked considerable interest. However, this potential collaboration faces quite a significant obstacle, the production issues swirling around the latest installment of the Scream franchise, Scream 7. Welcome to this bite-sized episode of the Realmcast. I am the Mortal Kombat Phantom. And I'm Yanni. Today we delve into the rumors surrounding Ghostface involvement in Mortal Kombat 1, the controversies surrounding the departures of the movie's leads Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega from Scream 7, and the implications that this might have on Ghostface's appearance in Mortal Kombat 1. The situation is crucial, not just for fans of Scream and Mortal Kombat, but for the whole entertainment industry. Ghostface has been reported and hinted to be coming to Mortal Kombat 1 in a future DLC pack, but whether they will be in Mortal Kombat 1 or not depends on the tricky problems Scream 7 is facing now during production. These problems also raise bigger questions about how personal beliefs, freedom of expression, and putting characters in different media work together. We'll look into what challenges might take place as movies and games team up and see how it will affect Ghostface and guest characters as a whole in Mortal Kombat. Join us as we uncover these mysteries and explore the exciting connection between movies and gaming. As we explore the fascinating realm of video game character crossovers, the Mortal Kombat series stands out for its inclusion of iconic figures from the action, sci-fi, and horror genres. Recent speculation within the gaming community has fueled rumors suggesting that Ghostface, the mysterious villain from the famous Scream movies, might be added to Mortal Kombat 1 as a downloadable character. Fans continue to get excited after Ed Boon, the co-creator of the series and creative director for Mortal Kombat 1, tweeted about the possibility of this occurring. Boon shared an intriguing artwork featuring various horror movie slasher villains, including Ghostface, marked with a question mark, indicating characters yet to appear in the Mortal Kombat series. Adding to the speculation, a modder who claimed to have data mined Mortal Kombat 1 earlier this month reported finding evidence that eight as yet unannounced characters, including Ghostface, might be in the game. This revelation further fueled the excitement, hinting at the possibility of Ghostface's presence in the intense fighting arena of Mortal Kombat. Fans eagerly await official confirmation and the potential unmasking of Ghostface within the Mortal Kombat universe. The horror movie world would take an unforeseen turn in November of 2023, when news broke out that Melissa Barrera, who portrayed the central character Sam in Scream 5 and 6, had been ousted from her pivotal role in Scream 7. The decision to remove her was triggered by her Instagram post, wherein she voiced her support for Palestine liberation and criticized the actions of Israel. The termination ignited a wave of controversy, leading fans and industry pundits to question the rationale behind the move and initiating extensive discussions on the delicate balance between freedom of expression, human rights, and the intersection of politics and the entertainment industry. In the wake of Burrow's dismissal, the controversy surrounding her has not merely remained confined to industry chatter. It has faced significant backlash due to the intricate nature of the Israel-Palestine conflict. Her post, which advocated for peace and empathy while explicitly acknowledging the fear and pain felt by her Jewish friends, became a focal point for discussions on the ethical responsibilities of public figures when navigating politically charged issues. The incident has sparked a broader conversation on the impact of personal beliefs on professional opportunities and the challenges that arise when addressing sensitive geopolitical topics within the realm of entertainment. We move now to Jenna Ortega, a significant figure in the Scream franchise from her role in Scream 7 and her exit from the movie due to scheduling conflicts, which adds a layer of complexity to the film's overall outlook. This decision was reportedly made months before Melissa Barrera, Ortega's co-star, was fired from Scream 7 due to her social media posts about Israel and Palestine. Ortega's departure is apparently unrelated to Barrera's firing and was planned before the SAG-AFTRA strike began, although many speculate that these are actually just excuses to be used as damage control, considering the situation with co-star Melissa Barrera. Ortega, recognized as one of Hollywood's biggest up-and-coming stars, also needs to finish filming Tim Burton's Beetlejuice 2, affecting the overall flow and consistency of the narrative. Both Ortega and Barrera's departure create a void in the ensemble cast, potentially disrupting the established dynamics that were crucial to the success of the previous two films. The sudden changes in casting may affect the film further, beyond losing well-known names, and also necessitate script revisions and adjustments to the storyline, affecting the overall flow and consistency of the narrative. 
The potential repercussions include increased production costs, logistical challenges, and the need for swift decision-making by the filmmakers and production team to salvage the project. The looming possibility of Scream 7's cancellation becomes a significant concern, not only for the devoted fanbase eagerly anticipating the next installment, but also for industry insiders who are invested in the success of the franchise. The uncertainty surrounding the film's future leaves fans and professionals alike in a state of suspense, eagerly awaiting further developments and announcements from the filmmakers and the production company. The fate of Scream 7 now hangs in the balance, and its ability to overcome these challenges will determine whether the iconic horror series can successfully continue its legacy on the big screen. But we aren't a Scream podcast, we are a Mortal Kombat podcast, so what does all this have to do with Mortal Kombat? To comprehend the potential inclusion of Ghostface in Mortal Kombat 1, it's essential to navigate the intricate history of the Scream franchise's production landscape. Originating under the banner of Dimension Films, the franchise underwent a transformative journey fraught with legal skirmishes and shifts in rights ownership. Kathy Conrad's 2010 lawsuit against the Weinstein Company offers insight into the complex agreements governing Scream film productions. While not directly tied to Mortal Kombat, these legal intricacies shed light on the meticulous negotiations which occur behind the scenes and shape the Scream franchise. 2019 Scream 5 marks the transition of rights from Dimension Films to Spyglass Media Group, with Paramount Pictures now assuming the role of distributor. This transition is pivotal in understanding not only the current custodians of the Scream legacy, but also laying the groundwork for Ghostface's potential foray into Mortal Kombat 1. Collaborative decisions made by Paramount Pictures and Spyglass Media Group now influence not only the inclusion of Ghostface in Mortal Kombat 1, but also any other entertainment crossovers. In Mortal Kombat's history, the inclusion of guest characters became a notable trend, starting with Mortal Kombat 2011. Initially focused on core characters with only two guest fighters, Freddy Krueger and Kratos, the success of these additions paved the way for subsequent titles like Mortal Kombat X and Mortal Kombat 11, introducing an ever-expanding roster of guest characters from various pop culture realms. In the middle of all the problems happening during the making of Scream 7, important questions come up. Could this turbulence have negative repercussions on Ghostface's anticipated appearance in Mortal Kombat 1? If Paramount and Spyglass lack a movie to promote, they might reconsider their deal with NetherRealm Studios and Warner Brothers, the developers of Mortal Kombat 1 potentially withdrawing Ghostface as a downloadable character, DLC. Many fans are wondering if the looming uncertainty around Scream 7 could prompt the studio to reassess Ghostface's inclusion in Mortal Kombat 1. The intricate web of relationships and promotional strategies within the entertainment industry adds a complexity to the fate of anticipated guest characters in the Mortal Kombat series. The interconnected nature of these decisions, shaped by the shifting tides of Scream 7's production, underscores a delicate balance between film and gaming collaborations leaving Ghostface's destiny in the arena of Mortal Kombat hanging in the balance. Contrary to the initial concerns surrounding Ghostface's role in Mortal Kombat 1 and its connection to the challenges faced by Scream 7, it is essential to consider the historical context of guest characters in the Mortal Kombat series. Examining past instances like the inclusion of iconic characters such as Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, Alien, Predator, Terminator, and Leatherface reveals a consistent pattern. Unlike some game crossovers that align with ongoing film promotions or releases, Mortal Kombat's selection of guest characters seem to prioritize iconic status over immediate ties to contemporary movie developments. The inclusion of these renowned characters spans various horror and science fiction franchises, showcasing a deliberate choice to feature figures with a lasting impact on popular culture, rather than being directly linked to specific promotional efforts or film releases. This historical pattern suggests that Ghostface's fate in Mortal Kombat 1 may be part of this broader tradition, emphasizing the franchise's commitment to iconic characters rather than serving as a promotional tool for Scream 7. Of course, one could argue otherwise by looking at the decision to include Omni-Man, Homelander, and Peacemaker in Mortal Kombat 1, considering their recent popularity, but we're here to look at both sides. The removal of Ash Williams from the Mortal Kombat 11 roster, as we've discussed in our other bite-sized episodes, was more likely due to contractual intricacies rather than the issues related to the film industry. This means the potential inclusion of Ghostface in Scream 7 is likely contingent on negotiations and licensing considerations rather than the film's production status. It's likely that Warner Brothers, not wanting to be embarrassed like they were with the Ash Williams situation, would possibly seek to finalize contracts before the character would even enter the production phase. This means that, should they have the forethought, they would secure contractual agreements ahead of time. 
mitigating the risk of complications and ensuring a smooth integration of characters across various mediums, even in the face of potential delays in the movie's release. Although the unfolding drama surrounding Scream 7's production issues and the removal of key actresses has ignited speculation about Ghostface's potential inclusion in Mortal Kombat 1, when we consider the historical context of guest characters in the Mortal Kombat series, it seems Ghostface's fate in the game is likely independent of the challenges faced by Scream 7. However, the intricacies of the entertainment industry, marked by historical patterns and contractual considerations, may not be a factor for inclusions in Mortal Kombat which seem to indicate that Ghostface's addition to the Mortal Kombat 1 roster might not be affected by the recasting occurrence in the film franchise. And besides, as we all know, there is more than one Ghostface. So, what do you think? Do you think that Ghostface's inclusion would be affected by the situation affecting the cinematic franchise? Or, do you think Ghostface might have to be reskinned to be a completely different character before he makes his way into Mortal Kombat 1? Let us know in the comments, and if you found this discussion enlightening, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Your insights contribute to the ongoing conversation around Mortal Kombat, and we look forward to hearing your unique perspectives. Until next time, remember, every warrior has a story and every saga a lesson.